Today I am here in the Southern Kettle Moraine planning to do an overnight hike uh, here of the Ice Age Trail uh, segments. There are four of them I plan to take on over the next two days. These include Waterville, Scuppernong, Eagle, and Stony Ridge. So give or take, this will be 20 miles or so uh, with a little over 10 miles the first day and then a little under 10 miles the second day. Planning to do a stop at Shelter One. Uh, which is about 10.4 miles down the trail. My shuttle driver just dropped me off here at the UW Field Station, which is where I'm going to begin my hike today. Especially on the Waterville segment now of the Ice Age Trail and so far it's beautiful. Lots of crunchy leaves, fall is here. Along that section of Waterville, I just ran into another aspiring through hiker who is uh, trying to complete the Mammoth Challenge for 2022, which is exactly what I am doing. And uh, it was fun to talk trail for a few moments. So, hey, Lone Ranger, if you see this, I enjoyed the chat. I'm about three and a half miles in on my hike here, and I think I've just found Stumphenge. As you can see, I'm back on the road again, uh, jumping onto some connector here. And uh, I've got about, oh, a little under a mile of this before I hit Scuppernong. So Waterville, I believe, is officially done. And I'm moving on to the next segment. It's break time and I am ready for some lunch. So while we were hiking, I was actually cold soaking some refried beans. So for lunch today, I'm having a refried bean burrito with a little bit of hot sauce as well as some plantain chips. I've had my lunch. I'm all loaded up on water and ready to hit the trail. Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of water sources noted on the map between here and my campsite tonight. So I basically loaded up on water and uh, that means I've added another liter to my pack. So my pack is a little bit heavier now and will be a little bit heavier uh, for the rest of the route. But hey, I'll be consuming some of that water. So that helps. So here's a map of the segments that I'm currently on and practically speaking, 
Um, you'll see on this map, I started right here uh, at the Waterville segment, uh, actually right up top here at the UW-Waukesha Field Station, uh, crossing down along this connector route into this trail, wound up ending the Waterville segment here, continued on my route to the start of the Scuppernong segment, and right now I'm here at the Pine Woods Campground, which is where I stopped to have lunch. So the Scuppernong uh, segment will continue for quite some time. Uh, of course, it continues all the way down to the bottom of this map and then starts again at the next map. So uh, tonight my goal for camping is actually Shelter One right down here. And uh, I'm not going to do the math right now, but uh, if I'm a betting person, it's probably somewhere around, I don't know, maybe another four miles or so to get there, which means I'd better get moving. This right here is why I'm wearing blaze orange on the trail. I've reached the segment high point, which also includes, as you'll see here, a trail log and a nice bench over here to enjoy a brief respite after climbing. Uh, the high point is only about, I think, 1,059 feet, but hey, I'll take it. Looks like trail magic for somebody. I don't need a lighter, but someone might. As you can see, I've made it to camp. I've made it to Shelter One, uh, which was a little bit more of a hike than I expected it to be, by the way. I had this idea that it was going to be right off the Ice Age Trail, but actually it is, I don't know, maybe a quarter mile or something like that before you actually get up to the shelter. So it's a little bit extra. Uh, and a lot of it was uphill, which after a, a 10 mile hike would have been nice if it wasn't. That said, I'm here. I love the, the shelter. I've got my tent pitched, I've got my fire going, I've got my dinner uh, all brewing up, and so this is going to be a bulgur chili mole, which uh, should be delicious. I'm actually using a mishmash of a couple of different recipes that I use at home. I've tried to adapt them for the purposes of rehydrated meals, so we'll see how that goes. And I'm having that with some olives because I love pitted green olives. They're one of my favorite snacks to bring along every single time I go backpacking. Tonight is no exception. So this evening, not a lot planned. I'm planning to chill out. I'm planning to do my journaling. I've got my fire going. So of course, I'm going to enjoy that and uh, maybe get some reading done, relax, and just enjoy the peace that comes with back. Good morning. It is 7.30 a.m. and I am getting out of here. It's about uh, nine and a half miles back to my car and I noticed there's a chance of storms this afternoon which is what I want to try to beat. So I've got my bags packed, I've got my tent packed up, and I've got my cold brew coffee to go this morning. I'm skipping the hot coffee. It's one of the nice upsides of doing an instant coffee. So with that said, it's time to hit the trail. So here we are 
again looking at the same map we saw yesterday of the segments that I'm currently working my way through. So we just left Shelter 1, which is where I stayed last night. Then traversing Scuppernong segment right now, we're here at the very beginning of Eagle segment. The goal today is to hike through Eagle segment all the way down here to Antique Lane. And then from here, we'll pick up Stony Ridge segment and basically finish the trek right here to where my car is parked, which is at the trailhead for the Blue Spring Lake segment. I'm about to head back into the woods so I wanted to take just a moment to appreciate these fall colors. Also it looks like we've got a crab apple tree here. Well I'm totally not headed into the woods actually I rounded the bend and it looks like I'm coming out uh, to a parking area and then maybe out onto a road here. As roads go this one is quite beautiful. Looks like I made it to Stony Ridge. anvil starting to form and it looks like it will likely be headed in this direction. Thankfully I'm under a mile back to the trailhead so fingers crossed I'll make it back before this turns into some weather that I have to deal with. <laughs> 